So LeBron's son, Bronny, finished his first season of college basketball last night as USC finished a very disappointing season at 15 and 18 with a 70 to 49 loss to Arizona in the Pac-12 tournament in Las Vegas. In 22 minutes off the bench, Bronny went one of five from the floor and one of five from three, scored three points with one rebound, zero assists, a steal, and a turnover. For the season, Bronny averaged 19 minutes a game, 4.8 points, 2.8 rebounds, 2.1 assists, while shooting only 37% from the floor and 27% from three. And as Michael just said in the break, what, what is it, 67% from the from free, free throw line? line? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. None of it great. Okay, so an ESPN analysis quotes three NBA execs saying Bronny probably should go back for another year of college basketball, but they won't be surprised at all if he opts to put his name in this year's draft. Michael, should Bronny go back for a second year of college basketball? Boy, this is a hard one. It's a hard one. one. This is well, tough, man. You start talking father, sons. And, yep. You know, and man, you're watching your son and you want what's best for him and as a father, and you've already stated your, you, your dream, and I'm sure it's his dream for you guys to play together one day. And But clearly, clearly he needs some more work. Skip, I, I'll tell you what I worry about here. Because now, now listen, this decision is going to be made, and, and, and if, if, if LeBron... LeBron really wants it done. I, I, I don't see why the Lakers, I, I would imagine the Lakers would adhere to that. Agree. And say, hey, yep. that's what we need to do. That's yep. what we need to do. We, we, everybody made a lot of jokes about him sitting with Jenny Buss and all of that, but I'm sure they were discussing a lot of things over there. And, and you know, his contract coming up with LeBron says he clearly plans on playing for more than one more year. So why not give him an opportunity to, to, to maybe stay in school and, and take another year. And I know, I know that's not their plan. That's not their plan. They want to play together. But, man, you got to look at this. And let me tell you what I worry about. When you're young coming up and your dad's LeBron James, as a kid, that's cool. Man, I want to meet your dad, man. You're, right. so you, you, you're cool. Mm -hmm. When you're in the NBA, your dad's LeBron James, and you got here with your dad or because of your dad, yep. those are grown men. It's not cool. Yeah, that's the that, yeah. and they're gonna they, they'll take a whole different approach. They it's will. It's no longer cool because the, the kids just wanted to meet LeBron James. Yeah, the grown men are competing to feed their kids against LeBron James, mm -hmm. and so now they're not going to be as nice to you when you're play, when when and if you get on the court and play it. Yeah, I, I wonder. I worry about him and his psyche dealing with. Guys that he probably looked up to and said, man, I want to be like him. Players that he's loved, that he's loved and looked at and watched for years, coming at him in a different, whole different way now. Like, you know, can you imagine what the Dylan Brooks and all of those guys were going to be? <laughs> they went after your dad. How do you think they're going <laughs> to yeah. come after you? How Bingo. do you think they're going to come after Very good you, point. When you, when, when they're going to say you didn't earn this opportunity, you're here because you're dead. Those are the things I worry about, Skip. Uh, I, I, I don't know him personally, so I, I can't tell you about his mentality. And I always say a man's mentality tells me a lot about his reality if he can handle situations like this. Mm. If I knew him personally, I could tell. But this is going to be a tough situation if he decides to come out and... I, 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 listen, Jerry Jones gave me a roster spot with this show I did a long time ago called Fourth and Long. I got a chance to do my own, uh, you know, show, mm -hmm. reality show, and I gave the winner a yeah. contract yeah. to play on the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. If Jerry Jones gave me a roster spot and a contract on for, to go on a reality show, you better darn well believe the Lakers will draft Bronny if they need to. It ain't nowhere near LeBron James. They'll draft Bronny to keep LeBron happy. So this is a real possibility. And I know he will because I know he loves his son. I just want him to think about it from a father's perspective yeah. on what he's coming into. You know what I mean? I know it's his dream to play with his son, but but I, and I know he will, but I want yeah. him to think about that. And I worry about that because these are grown men. To your point, a father and a son, 
I hark back to Lonzo Ball being picked second overall by the Lakers and Magic Johnson, his opening night game out here at Staples Center. Patrick Beverly destroyed Lonzo, and, and he was loving destroying Lonzo, and he was pointing throughout the game at Dad in the first or second row, right. wherever he was, right. and saying, it's your fault. You drew the target on this kid's back. I'm, I'm going to show you how far he has to go. Okay, so there'll be some of that operating if, in fact, he's a Laker or whatever he is with Le LeBron next year. All right, so here's the shock to me of what happened at USC. I watched this kid quite a bit at Sierra Canyon when he was in high school. And I said, from, I said many times on the show, he's a better shooter than his dad is. But he, that did not manifest at USC, right. and I'm shocked by that. You brought up the free throws, and I'm bringing up the three-point. I thought he was a pretty good three-point shooter, and in the McDonald's uh, All-Star game, he made two or three big threes down the stretch of a close game, and I said, he can shoot it. He can be a spot-up go-to shooter, almost a nice compliment to LeBron's game. And then he shoots 27% at USC for a team that was loaded with, with a lot of, you know, blue-chip talent, and, and it didn't manifest. It never detonated. It never took off. Okay, so given all that... Right, and, and, and we should mention, Skip, before yeah. you go any farther, that, that, because I'm, I'm sitting here thinking as you talk about how he performed this year, we know what he was coming oh, off well he, of. This okay, year. this year he came off a heart right, condition. Right, right, yes. right. So we should he did. mention that. And it's fair. That. And, right, and, right, and right. I'm not sure and, he and, ever right. got his legs How underneath much work did he I don't get know. a chance to I don't know. prior to even right. stepping That's on the court? That's fair, and, and I'm glad right. you brought that right. up because I should have. stepping on the court this year. So, so yeah, I, 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 I'll let yeah. you, I just wanted to bring no, that part We should bring that up. My gut feeling is he should not go back to college because I don't think he can get much better playing with college kids. But I do think he's the rare player who will be a better pro basketball mm. player than a college basketball player. Like if you sent him back to USC and tried to make him the alpha star, he doesn't have that skill set. He's not a creative scorer. He, he's not going to average 20 for USC next year. It's not what he does. He plays hard-nosed defense. He's a shrewd, smart, high IQ basketball player who's physical. He's got, he's starting to get his man body. And I, they're listing him at 6'4". I thought he was 6'3", but he may be in that 6'4"-ish range. He's not a true point. He's a wing player, but he's smart and he's tough mentally. And he's a great complimentary player. And he'll be a better pro alongside better pros. So, so to me... I think you're spinning your wheels and wasting your trying, time trying to say, well, show us something, Bronny, at USC. Go win us a national championship. I don't think that's who he is. Mm -hmm. But I do think if his dad can figure a way to get him on his team, that he can contribute. Let's, let's just do next year's Lakers. Yes, he could contribute. He could play his 15 minutes a game alongside his dad. It's almost like he, he's made for his dad because he is the, the perfect complimentary player for his father. So to me, I, I saw a quote from some, one of these execs here in the ESPN story. Th this is what's scary about this. This is where the chess game starts. This quote is, I think a lot of teams will take the stance that they'll draft him if there's a 1% chance LeBron will join them. Okay, right. so the, 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 right. the, the that's chess what, game that's is going to start right, when, right. when, okay, right. at the top of the draft right. coming up in, when is it, June, <laughs> if, if all of a sudden somebody drafting two, three, four, five says, wait, we, we could get LeBron to come over here for a couple of years, even as a, a gate attraction? Uh, how right? does that work out now? Okay. Who, who, who does that? You, who, who, how do you do that? Because you're well, thinking you're about here. Lakers as a second-round pick. You know, would he right, last? Lakers don't have a first-round pick. Yeah. Lakers don't have a first-round okay. pick. Their first pick is 56 in the second yeah, round. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, right. so would Clutch, and, would Rich Paul make it clear to everybody, you better not draft him because if you do, there's no way LeBron's coming to you, and, and we will make it hard on you. Like if Clutch can sort of pull all the right power strings to say, leave him alone, let him go 56 to the Lakers because that's where he belongs, and, right? And, 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 and it's, but you, you, well, that's a lot of power to pull. And, yeah. and here in a world where professional sports is more like we, we want to call it a meritocracy where you got to earn, everybody yeah. has to earn yeah. what they get, and you're coming in here on the back of, uh, of your dad who's the most famous player in the, in, in the NBA. 
That's just great. I, I'm not worried about what he does on the basketball court anymore, his skill set. I'm worried about how he handles that and what's going to come with that. And I know he's been around a lot he of it, all of his life. Hey, but, I, what, but what he's been around, it, it, it's not going to compare to what he's about to get mm -hmm. when he hit that NBA floor because yeah. he's going to get some real, some real hate. Some real no, hatred, because go, cause it's going to be coming uh, from his dad, what they got with his dad. It's going to be real. I, I uh, believe, he has to have the right psyche hey, to handle it. I believe this kid is built to take that. Yeah. I, I think he can withstand any or all of the above. I have been so in awe of his, just his body language, his presence, his psyche, the way he's coped. I mean, he, he got named LeBron James Jr. That's what he got named. It became right. Bronny, but right. man, you want to talk about Right. A name to live up to? Right, Whew. right, right. And, 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 and one thing people always talk about, and I've met him a few times, and I remember when I first met him, it was right out here. Matter of fact, I was with Keyshawn that oh, time, really? too, oh, right? okay. when I first met LeBron over at that Century, Century Club yeah. place that, uh, that we were with, Keyshawn and I, when he was first coming out. Um, and and, and he, he's always been, he's so mature. Just so mature, and, I, and and when you think about Bronny, I think about that. You know, you you talk about he he just he he carries himself differently. His, his dad was so mature, and, and you think about what LeBron has done to this point, dude. I'm talking about to stay and keep and not have any issues and and not fall and and, and to hold on to that kind of work ethic and be that yes. kind of person in that spotlight yeah. has been insane what LeBron has done to his maturity. So you know he put that down in Bronny. So I'm imagining he has a, a tough mentality, but he's going to need it for, for what he's about yeah. to attend. Okay, so father is thinking, as he often acknowledges, the, the clock is ticking on his career. He can't do it forever. He, he's already shattered the mold. And, and I gotta tell you, on a nightly basis, he's 39 going on 29 to my eyes. Yeah, I don't see much of any drop off. Maybe he can't play defense the way he mm -hmm. used to play for 48 minutes. But the point is, LeBron has to be thinking, if I am gonna play with my son, which is my ultimate dream, I, I need to do it sooner than later. So if he goes back to USC for a whole nother year and you gotta wait to, I, I don't know. In, in, not that LeBron's gonna be selfish about this, but, but the reality of their situation is it needs to happen this coming, you know, n this next season off this next draft instead of waiting a whole nother year for that. Well, how, how is Lincoln Nations going to take that though? How, how are they going to swallow that and, and just, just how will they digest that? You know what? Saying, well, we, we're gonna use this on, on draft and Bronny. If the kid can contribute, they'll be fine with it. If he can't, if he looks like he does at USC, d d doing yeah. virtually nothing, all hell will break loose, and, right? Yeah, it's great. It's good, and and that that's the one I'm worried about. Yeah, that that second one, that second one. It, it, you know, the all hell breaking loose. Yeah. And, and on this stage too. Now, this is not you know if it was Cleveland. This is this is LA. No, it's so LA. so everything. So we'll, we'll watch everything he does on the court. We'll watch what it what, what it what happens off the court because yeah. of what how that affects him off the court. So so it, this is a big spotlight. Yeah. It's a big spotlight and it's LA. So it's going to be a big spotlight. I I, I, I it'll be interesting to see which way they take that. Okay. What the kid has going for him is he can really defend at a high level with high motor and physicality already at what, what is he 19 and that will translate that mm. so usually these kids come along and at 18 19 20 they try to hit the big time and, and they're a liability on defense because they're they're mm. they're still babies you know what i mean so th That's in this point. case at least he can hold up his end of the bargain in his 15 minutes a night on the defensive end. So he won't look like a liability. It won't look like a sacrifice, like, well, LeBron's just playing, uh, playing his kid, you know, playing right. with his kid, and it's, it, it's not fair to us because it's not contributing to winning basketball games. But the point you bring up here, uh, as you think, as you're talking about it, I started thinking about it is, man, a year, in a kid his age is huge. 
the development of a year, yeah. you know. So, so, so you you say, okay, we get him now, second round, and and we put him on the squad and let's develop him this year. And you know, he's there with Braun right now. You go through a year, cause that you, 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 he's nowhere near his man body. He's nowhere near no, his. No, no, that's body. a fact. You no, know what he's I mean? for, he's physically right. mature for his age. Right, yes. right, but nowhere near his I mean, man. You remember body. what you were when you were. A rookie, yeah. And, 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 yeah. I, and I remember, and that, that's why it's so important, you know, and it's, so now I see a lot of parents, they're trying to rush those kids. Yeah. They want to rush them. They'll put them in, well, we want to get through school early. I'm like, dude, don't, don't, don't. Do your, my kid's this age, and he's going in ninth grade. I said, you hold them back. Hold them back mm -hmm. for the year, the physical development. You're trying, you're, you're, you're rushing them because he's mentally capable, and that's great. But but his physical development is it, it's going to come later. You need to hold him back, and and that's why a lot of people started doing that. That's what I'm thinking about now. Another year for him is going to be a huge, huge help. Mm. You just don't want to see the kid get crushed. I just don't want to see him get crushed. I, I I know the I know the other side of it. And it's going to be real. Yeah. It's going to be real. Like you said, the Patrick Beverly's, the, the oh. Dylan Brooks, all of them who LeBron has put his kingship upon <laughs> is going to try to lay it back on him. Mm -hmm. That's just going to be the reality. Yeah. It will be the most interesting story. We will watch in now. Off season we of will the, watch. The we off. will be watching. Yeah. And see how he handles it. All right. Speaking of fascinating. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.